As you all know, I am the best at giving advice, which is why I'm going to give random strangers on the internet advice through Quora. So the very first question I see, let's see this one. Why are people so serious in our old age? An age old question. <laughs> because they are dying. People get very serious before they die. Also could be a side effect of type two diabetes. Um, it's true, people do get very serious right before they die. Every, everyone who's dying is just pissed off. That's all, all old people, which is why they just, you know, it's hard to be around them. Especially when they start mouth breathing, that's when you wanna just shut their mouths. You don't, cause that's frowned upon, but you know. And also the type two diabetes thing, I don't really know if that's a side effect. I was just kind of taking a shot in the dark. Let's see what other people say. Ken Salad said, we develop a more sophisticated sense of humor beyond the ability of younger minds to understand. <laughs> Ooh, you're getting me riled up there, Ken Salad. I responded, here's a joke. Your mother. No, actually, I'm going to change it. Ken, I got to say, I haven't had a salad in years. Fuck! Okay, <sighs> I just found another question. Why do some people keep looking at me? It's an easy one. I don't know. You might look weird. It's very true. Some people just look weird and you have to look. It's nothing personal. It's just... The you, you just fucking look so weird. Trust me, I do it a lot. Or check to see if your fly is down. One time I went the whole day with my fly down and got arrested. The arrest wasn't connected, but just thought I'd throw that out there. Those were like two months apart, but kind of just wanted to add it for some flavor. The arrest was for prostitution. Money was tight but I was tighter. <laughs> oh, mom, don't watch this. How do you react when someone flips you off? I punch them in their tight little mouth hole. I don't fuck around with someone who just flips me off. Also, is this in traffic or where is this? Cause I'll fucking, f I'll flip a bitch, okay? I have, there's nothing stopping me. I've been to prison once, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I swear to God, I'll punch them in their tight little mouth hole. <sighs> okay, let's look at the other answers. America's Gun Club answered, I curl up in the fetal position and examine my life choices. Gonna be honest, I do that every night. Is this the same guy? Oh wait, no, different name. What the fuck? I don't understand. But Aisha said, giggle and wave. That is a pretty good response. I like that. It's very nice and sweet. Probably works well with the prostitution thing I got going on. Someone asked, how are you doing in Makwano? Is that related to mukbang? I guess I could look it up. Makwano. Uganda? Oh no, I don't know Maquano. Still could be related to mukbangs, I guess. What would you do if you saw a person who does drugs? I would join them. Unless it's pink cocaine. RIP the goat. Liam Payne is dead. However, this was due to pink cocaine, allegedly. What is it, you may be wondering? We don't know. What we do know is that it makes you really want to go skydiving. Like, immediately. Like... Immediately. MB said, see if what they have is better than what I got, and if they would share. Valid. A former pharmacist, mind you. Huh. That feels like 
an interesting combo. Well, I guess it makes sense. Why not surround yourself with the things you love the most? What am I going to tell my man to make him happy? Tell him something extremely traumatic, and then immediately after, say you were kidding, and follow it up by doing slash saying something very nice. An example is, hey, I, um, I have something pretty serious to tell you. Uh, yogurt, your dog, I ran over him 20 times. The first 10 times were on accident, I promise. After that, I lost control. I lost control. I don't know what came over me. I don't know what happened. Who am I? Who am I? And then he would go, what? And that's when you would go, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. And uh, actually, the opposite. He's right here. He's very good. And guess what? Got you these. Here's some uh, goldfish for you. <laughs> I'll put them right there. Okay. I love you. <laughs> Works every time. Oh, how would you react if a black woman showed love to you? Okay, we practice this. I would act natural and thank her for her service. There's... Nothing, there's no, I want no problems. <laughs> um, 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 let's see what the other answers say. Jackson Roy Kirk answered, if she was hot, the same as any other hot woman. I respect that. Full transparency, okay. I am of the type to like just anybody, <laughs> anyone I can kind of, you know, sink my claws into, you know what I'm saying? Just show me any attention at all. My type is kind of brunette and I don't give a fuck what race you are. Apparently my, my real type is just mixed people. I think I just like a little bit of culture, you know, a little bit of spice, a little bit of pizzazz. I think because I'm so white and pale that I just need to have children one day that are not so much, uh, you know, pale. Well, okay, to be fair, it doesn't really matter as long as she's hot. So we're going back to square one. Can you be a fully functional drug addict? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. You can. Now, are, is it gonna be you the one that is a fully functional drug addict? Maybe not. But you have to find out somehow. Believe it or not, I was a fully functional drug, dr drug addict that too, for five years straight. It was also the most functional drug there is, I feel like, which is Adderall. So I kind of feel like a fraud in saying that I was a drug addict. I was definitely addicted, like every single day, even after I had my wisdom teeth out and I, I was supposed to just sleep most of the time, I still took it like a, like a psychopath. And I did it for five years. And then finally the last like, three months were just hell. And I was like, oh my God, this is all caught up to me. I am dying. I am not getting any sleep. Um, and you know, all a bunch of gibberish. I don't, I don't know if anyone cares, but pretty cool. I'm pretty tight. What can I say? Tighten uh, both departments. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I gotta stop saying shit like that. That is just pretty fucking gay. Of course, Franklin v Vox? Vokes. He, hey, he lives in Portland. <laughs> Relatable. Uh, of course, I'm a fully functional drug addict. I am physically and psychologically addicted to caffeine. Okay, you fucking fraud. Tamara Bond. Related to James? 
What are you doing here? Looking for shells? No, I'm just looking. Yes, completely. Something like 75% of middle management professionals are functional alcoholics. Much of it facilitated and tolerated by the companies they work for. I managed to work through 25 years of retail management while abusing alcohol, meth, and opiates? And never got fired or caught using drugs at work? Which I did with obsessively careful wild abandon? Huh. Nice. I really don't have anything to add to that. That's pretty sick. Well, actually, no, I do. <laughs> I always do. Um, 75%? Is that actually true? That seems like a number you just pulled out of your butthole. Oh, to be fair, in her title, it literally says former addict to multiple substances. That's her official title. So she might be an expert. All right, well, we're gonna end it on that one. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Uh, subscribe, we're almost two million. And uh, one piece of advice before I go, Go get yourself a bag of goldfish. It'll make you feel better. It always does for me.